What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use Depth Fade. So I'm not going to go over a really great use for this, I'm just going to show you sort of what the tool does. So if we look here, I have some random objects placed in the middle of this what looks just like a green plane, except as you can see where it's intersecting it, it's coming up red. So there could be uses for this, like in a river, if you put an object in, you'd want it to change and somewhat go foamy or something when it hits the rocks. But I will be showing how to do it in sort of a later tutorial when I've mastered a bit more of how to use the actual tool. So today I'm just showing you what the tool is and you can go off and use it however you want. So if I move one of these objects you can see that this changes and if I move it down to the point where it's under it you can see it sort of glows where it is. So this is happening because if I go into my material you can see I'm using red and green and I'm fading between the two and just putting it to base color. So you can use this for opacity as well. So I've used that for this example up here and this is actually what they sort of say uh, to use it for, to fade and try to get so there's no seam between where the fade is happening. So as you can see here, as you can see here it's more of a fade rather than just a cut off. If that was just two normal surfaces you can see they just intersect there and it's complete cut where with the fade on it makes it sort of merge with it a bit better. And this is great for, again, you could use it for water, so it, it or moss actually would be quite a good one, so that way it sort of sits in it and it's growing on it a little bit. But it, people tend to use it from what I've seen for rivers because it is great to put rocks in and to have, especially if you set up correctly, you can have like the water merging around the rocks. So I'm just going to show you how to set this up, and it's really, really simple. If we just make a folder, I think I've already got one, there we go jump in here so all you need is your depth fade a lerp to lerp between two variables and yeah if you're just doing it for opacity that's pretty much all you need oh and you need to definitely remember to set it to translucent because it doesn't work for opaque materials but if you do set it up so that way it's a more advanced translucent material you can get away with making it look opaque so if I set up translucent and I write in depth fade, I get a lerp, so to get a lerp just hold L one left click, I get two one constances again to get them hold one left click and we'll just go between one and zero to show off where it's going to be opaque and where it's going to be solid. So if we apply that, actually let me quickly put a colour on it, let's make it green. So if we just apply that we go back into the engine and let me just duplicate these two spheres so now if I put that depth fade on here you can see we've already set up the fade but the biggest issue is that there's no shine to it there's nothing and in a previous tutorial I did show that all you got to do is go back into your material go to where it says translucent and just set it to surface forward shading and click apply and that will now apply metallic, specular, and roughness to give it some more depth of an actual material rather than just an opaque object. Just take a while to apply. All right, so when it wants to load, we've set up basically what we had over here, except it's green. So now if you want to do what I did here, it's basically the exact same, except if you look in this one, all I've done is lerp it together and put it in the base color. And all it's doing is it's going between red and green for where it's going to intersect with another object. And that's pretty much how you set it up. And like I said, this isn't showing the actual uses of it. This is just showing that you can use this tool. And if you want to go off and use it for anything else, I definitely think you should, because this tool can be used for rivers and oceans and anything where you want something to intersect and change the color of it. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video and bye bye.